Number three, I would say the excessive use of slicers. Uh, it's very tempting to use slicers and to overuse slicers. I have seen a lot of dashboards where slicers take, you know, almost half of the page, which, ha you know, makes absolutely no sense because what you're actually expecting in this case from the users that they will, you know, tick every, you know, oh, I want to see this user, oh, I want to see this uh, account, oh, I want to see this country and so on. This is not how dashboards should be constructed. It's not a good idea to use slicers in this way, especially if they have a lot of elements. Instead of this, just use a drop down, put it somewhere, somewhere up, uh, you know, just put it in a, in a drop down here, you know, um, put it in a drop down. So, so that's, you know, one drop down menu for, for each, um, for each data field, for each uh, data dimension, for example, uh, that would be much better. Or alternatively use, uh, do not use this space. Um, fill this the same space with a chart, and then people will use the chart uh, to slice because in Power BI the chart has actually the same function as almost the same function as the filter. Right, you can click on each data category in a chart, and this will filter the whole page. Right, so you don't need to put all all of this and when you do this you will just add information and this is much 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 better